fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. building of the first transcontinental railroad was one of the most important steps in the winning of the West. The railroad was of prime importance to the future of the country. But powerful forces, cattlemen, stagecoach lines, and steamship companies opposed it. Outlaw opposition sprang up, and the Lone Ranger was commissioned by the president to lead the fight against the enemies of progress. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! The president's in danger! Help, Silver! Hi! The Transcontinental Railroad was almost completed. West across Utah stretched the track of the Great Central. East from Frisco came the rails of the Rocky Mountains and work crews on each railroad strained their backs to bring track to the meeting place first. The Chinese gang is coming east for the Rocky Mountain. Hey! Another attack. Pretty soon we finish job. We beat Great Central. Hey! Hey! Pounding west across the plains, clanging the steel rails into place, came the Irish workmen for the Great Central. Put them down and hammer in the spikes. Lay them rails. Big Dara will be there first. Put your back into it. It's a county fair. Swing your mollies. Hit the spikes. And the... <laughs> From east and west, racing to bring the rails together so that at last a locomotive could pull a train all the way from Washington to the Golden Gate. In a railroad shack out in the western plains, where the track of the Great Central curved into the distant horizon, Colonel Parkman's secretary took a message from the telegraph. Colonel Parkman. Yes, Miss Barkley. Some message for me over the wire? Yes, sir. From Washington. Washington? Let me see that. It's very important. Colonel Parkman, chief engineer, charge of construction, Great Central Railroad. This is to advise you that... Well, I should say this is important, Miss Barkley. It's the most important news in the news of... Get in there. Hey, wait, what, what does this mean? The Lone Ranger? What's this all about? Who's this prisoner of yours? Get on your feet, Nielsen. <coughs> now look, mister. I didn't do nothing and you can't... Colonel, hold... this man is a member of the Iron Spur. Todd and I caught him tampering with the railroad switch. He'll be put in a jailhouse at once. Well, there's something else on your mind, isn't there, Masked Man? Yes. Nielsen let something slip. Colonel, is it true that the president will come out west for the ceremony at the joining of the rails? What's that? In a few days, the tracks of the Great Central and the Rocky Mountain will meet, won't they? Why, yes. It'll be a big ceremony when the final spike is hammered home. Isn't that so? Absolutely, mister. And, well, the president will attend... In fact, I just received this telegram stating that very thing. But no one knew of it before. Iron Spur, no. How could the secret have leaked out? 
The iron spur is very powerful, Colonel. I'm beginning to believe so. That they should be able to get this news even before I did. And... Mister, who's the leader of the iron spur? Uh, Colonel, before this goes any further, I suggest this outlaw be put in jail. I understand. It'll be done at once. Then we can have a long talk, eh? <laughs> convinced that the Iron Spur is planning some desperate undertaking. I wish you could prevail upon the president to forego this trip west. That's impossible, mister. There may be danger for him. I wouldn't put it past the Iron Spur Do you to... think they'd try to harm the president? Miss Barkley, you know the Iron Spur. Band of outlaws and criminals who sworn to destroy the building of the railroad. Which they haven't done. The railroads are practically united. And so will our nation be united from coast to coast. Yes, Colonel. But it's just like the Iron Spur to gamble everything in one final effort to disrupt our country. Don't you see if the Mass president... man, let me ask you something. Yes? Put yourself in the president's place. If you were he, would you allow your plans to be changed because of an outlaw threat? The president is more than a man. He's a symbol of our country and what it stands for. If word ever got out that the Iron Spur had made our most important citizen back down... Colonel because... Parkman. Well, that's what it would be, Miss Barkley. That's what everyone would think. Yes, I see what you mean, Colonel. You're right. The president must come west. And we must find out what the Iron Spur is planning. There's very little time, ass man. If we only knew who the leader is. Todd and I know where the outlaws were camping last night, Colonel. We may be able to pick up their trail. You mean you'll help? We're Americans, Colonel Parkman. We'll leave at once. Akeem okay, Asabi, it's plenty dark now. We ride, huh? Nielsen is in jail. That's right. And we'll hit the trail. Adios, Colonel. Adios, Miss Barkley. The masked man, how will you get in touch with us? Don't worry. We'll let you know what we learn about the Iron Spur. Adios. Come on, fellow. Out of here. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott. Silver. Come on, Silver. Get it up, Scout. Miss Barkley, do you think they'll locate the outlaws? Colonel, if we can trust anyone, we can trust the Lone Ranger. Trail is clear, Tonto. Now that the sun is coming up. Ah, plenty of horses been here. I noticed that the hoof marsh came in from all directions to their last camp. You know what that means. What? All the Iron Spur outlaws have been called in from all over the west. They're going to use every man who can hold a gun. Mm, that's not good. We only have a few days. The railroad crews will meet very soon at the rate they're putting down the track. We've got to find out what the Iron Spur is scheming as soon as possible. Trail of Iron Spur, head west. Yes, into the mountains. Kimasabi, who leader of Iron Spur? We don't know, Tonto. Until we do, the railroads are in danger. And so is the president. Mm, that's right. So we'll just... Oh, Silver, oh, 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 oh. Kimasabi, what matter? Why we stop, huh? Look, Tonto, that rider on the far rim of the canyon. You see him? Ah, him ride plenty fast. Using spurs on his horse. Take a good look at him, Tonto. Tonto, not savvy why you... Kimasabi, that fella... Him look like Nielsen. That's what I thought. But Nielsen, him in jailhouse. Men have broken out of jails before this. That's right. Him break out of jail. But how him get ahead of us? We were following a trail, Tonto. That takes time. Besides, we headed for their old camp first. That's miles out of the way. I'm going to fix him with guns. No, Kimosabe. Why? He's too far away. Even a rifle bullet wouldn't reach him. We'll ride along this side of the canyon so we get a chance to cross. And keep out of sight as much as possible. We don't want him to know he's being followed. Maybe him know already. That's a chance we'll have to take. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. <laughs> what makes you so all fired slow, Prentice? You only have it half out of the cave. Blasting powder's mighty ornery hazard. <clears throat> I handled it with care. Don't relish being blown to bits. Well, hurry it up. If he'd given me a couple more men, we could have had it all out and be over to the main camp by now. The other men are being told what our plan of attack will be. They're busy. Well, why wasn't I told about the plan of attack? Because your job is packing the explosive. That's all. Prentice, you've got a charge all set to blow up the cave entrance, haven't you? Yeah, sure. As soon as the powder's all out, I'll set it off and seal up the cave. But I don't savvy why you want to do that. This here cave made a right good hiding place for us iron spur fellas. We won't need a hiding place, Prentice. After this final job, we split up for a while. A good long while. 
What for? Because every rancher and cowhand and soldier and sheriff in the West will be searching for us. It'd be a lot safer to split up for a couple of months anyway. Oh. On account of the president, huh? That's right. It's risky. It'll be worth the risk. Look what happened when Abe Lincoln was assassinated. Almost broke the country wide open. I reckon this will do as much or more. Especially with the Western territories being so far from the capital and so on. All right, now get busy on that explosive. Hazard, somebody coming. Down the trail. Yeah. I wonder who it could be. Yeah, quick. Grab the lead horse. Drag that wagon over behind these trees. I'll give you a hand. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, crap. The front wheel's in here. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, yonder he comes. I'll watch him. Well, bust my traces. It's Nielsen. Yeah. Has it? Call out the boys after me. The men are anywhere near here. I gotta do something. Easy. What's after you? The Lone Ranger and his engine part. What? Yeah, and gaining every minute. I was in jail over the end of track, has it? I broke out and headed this way fast as I could. But the masked man and his engine part picked up your trail. They spotted me from the far side of the canyon. Right after you, huh? Where's the rest of the boys? Where's the camp? Well, it's about two miles further down. Oh, Nielsen. Look way up on top of the canyon. Yeah, uh, that's them, has it? They'll get me before I can reach the camp. We'll have to fight them off. Me face the Lone Ranger's guns? No, sir. He'd gun me down fast. Why, that arm break could split the edge of a cart at a hundred paces. Now well, we got to figure out some other scheme to... Nielsen, I got it. The cave. You mean that cave right ahead of me? Yeah. Let them see you go in. As soon as you're in, I'll blast the entrance right down on top of them. Say, that's a swell idea. Then they won't... Hey, wait a minute. What happens to me? I'll be inside the cave and no way to get out. Well, there's another way out, Nielsen, a back entrance. A back entrance? Yeah. Now get going. Get up close to the entrance and let them see you. Kino has it. You're the boss. Get up there. Prentice, get set to blow up the cave. What was Nielsen saying about the masked man? He's leading the masked man, the engine, right into that cave. Get set to seal the entrance. Nielsen's going in? Say, don't you know you'll never get out? No, he don't. <laughs> Too bad for Nielsen. But it's worth his life to get rid of the Lone Ranger, ain't it? Get ready. Here they come. Many trees, many rocks around. The rate we're going, Tonto, we'll find Nielsen very soon. Silver and Scout can out gallop his horse any day. Him know we follow him, huh? Couldn't be helped. When we crossed the canyon on that log bridge, he looked back and saw us. Oh. But Nielsen must know where the main camp of the Iron Spur is. Otherwise, he wouldn't be going so fast. We'll get him and make him talk. Kimasari. Yes, Tunnel, there he is. Him right in front of the cave. Stand where you are, Nielsen. He'll never catch me alive, mister. Look, him go into the cave. Yes. Oh, him fool. Now we got him good. He wouldn't go into the cave if there wasn't some other way out, Tunnel. That's right. Come on, we're going after him. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Keep your guns handy, Tonto. Dark inside that cave. He may be making a last stand. Ah, uh, him not shoot at us yet. That means he's pretty certain there's another way out. Here's the entrance, Tonto. Run on through. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> that blast let go just when they was riding in, Hazard. Look at the entrance. It sealed up worse than the tomb. Yeah, Prentice. And there's no way out. I reckon the Lone Ranger won't ever ride again. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The inside of the cave was black and dismal after the explosion that sealed the entrance. It took a long time for the echoes of the blast to die down. Then... Hello. Hello. Oh. Kim was happy. What? What did happen? Tonto, not see. The cave is dark, Tonto. Nothing's wrong with your eyes. Cave? Oh. I remember now. Somebody set off blasting powder. It was lucky Silver and Scout were traveling so fast. We were into the cave before it went off. Help! Oh! Oh! And Nielsen. Let him come. Help! Oh! Oh, it's dark. As it was lying. It's by the way out of this cave. Let me come here just as the mass man means to follow me. They owe me to slow starvation just to catch him under that fallen rock. Slow starvation! Rock. Piles of it. I couldn't get out if I tried. So that's what Hazard did. Who, who's that? Who's that? We're all in this together. Mass men. That's where you are, the mass men. Take it easy. No sense in going loco. There's no way out, mister. We're lost. And we stay that way till we die. Is Hazard the leader of the Iron Spur? Oh, what difference is that make? Nielsen, there's no sense in giving up ahead of time. We're going to die. And let's make use of what time we have. Suppose you start telling me. Is Hazard the leader of the Iron Spur? What do they plan to do about the rail? That's about all there is to tell you about the Lone Ranger and his partner, boys. It's been 24 hours or more since we sealed him up in that cave. Prentice went back this evening for a look-see. Isn't that right, Prentice? Sure is, Hazard. The entrance is still blocked. Covered solid. Yeah. Maybe they aren't dead yet. Might be able to breathe because of air filtering through the spaces between the rocks. But they won't last long. We needn't wait around. All right, let's go. Yes, that's right. No need to get impatient. We're all ready for the big job. We leave here tomorrow night. I found out that the railroads are joined. Yep, the Irish workers laid the great central track clear to Promontory Point. The Chinese crews on the Rocky Mountain brought their track to that spot, too. All there's left to do is drive the two spikes. A silver spike and a gold spike. Then we're too late, Hazard. No, no, we're not too late. We're not too late, gents. I said we're all ready for the big job in a minute. We've got plenty of blasting powder, haven't we, Prentice? Yeah, plenty. Kino. Now, gents, here's what we're going to do. We ride for Promontory Point tonight. We get there before dawn, Savvy. A dozen of us will be dressed as soldiers. In the darkness, we move in. We overpower the regular guards and plant that blasting powder. We plant it right under the spot where the golden spike will be hammered in. We pack the powder around tight and fix a percussion cap on top. The very first stroke of the hammer will set off the explosion. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's the president himself who takes the first swing. <laughs> the president himself. Now let's break camp. Get your horses. We're leaving in an hour. <laughs> Mask man, you got any idea what time it is? No. No, Nielsen. Oh, it's always black in here. Why didn't Tano stay here with that torch he made out of the wood from the shaft? The wood's precious, Nielsen. I sent him back to explore the rest of the cave. It might be a day, maybe two days. It might be a week. Hold on to yourself, Nielsen. If I ever get my hands on Hazard, that owner return caught up. Easy, easy. I need a drink of water. Where's that canteen? Oh, I got it. Uh, drink of water, that's what. Drink of water. Oh, it's empty. Mass man, it's empty. The water had to go sometime, Nielsen. Empty? We'll die of thirst. Oh, I can't stand it. I tell you, I can't stand it. Aye, aye. Easy, Tonto. You put out that torch. Here, Kimo Sabi. Tonto, find something. Yes? Uh, Tonto, go back in the cave and look. Kimo Sabi. Tonto, find something. You come, look. Here, you look. Kegs, Toto. A dozen kegs. That's right. Now you look close. You see what it say on kegs. Gunpowder. Toto, it's gunpowder. Miss Barkley. This wild goose chase. Oh, can't we go on, Captain? The moon is still out. We followed the trail of Nielsen this far, Miss Barkley, all along the rim of the canyon. 
Now the ground is hard. There's no tracks left. And they seem to go straight toward that rock slide. Yes, that's what I mean. That's a solid cliff. Nielsen could have gone there. Colonel Parkman sent you out to locate Nielsen. Yes, but you should have stayed with the colonel. Oh, I'm worried about the masked man, Captain. It's been three days. He said he'd report back to the colonel. You can't trust a masked man, Miss Berkeley. Oh, this one can be trusted. Yes. Well, at any rate, we can't go on looking forever. No further. I'm afraid not, Miss Berkeley. You know, we've got to be at promontory point in the morning for the big ceremony. Yes, that's right. And it's a long ride. Yes. Uh, where are you going, Miss Berkeley? Captain, there's something about that fallen rock. Uh, what's that? Well, it looks rather recent, doesn't it? Yeah, it might be, might it be an avalanche. Oh, yes, but not very old. Hard to tell in this light. Let's take another look at it, shall we? Somehow, I, I can't help feeling that those prints are horses' hooves. That those rocks might have fallen right on top. Miss Berkeley, Miss Berkeley, are you all right? Yes, yes, my horse. Oh, oh, settle down. Can I get his reins? Steady, boy. Steady there. Oh, oh. Some explosion. It didn't hit you. Oh, no, Captain. We were far enough away so that... Captain! Yes? Who's that? Oh, Captain, it's, it's the Lone Ranger. Oh. Oh, uh, that's Miss Barkley. The masked man. Miss Barkley. You, you were behind that rock pile. You set off that explosion. Yes, but what are you doing here? You're looking for Nielsen. Nielsen is right with us. We, we found some blasting powder. Hazard must have forgot to take it out before we went in. Hazard? Ah, Hazard, him leader of Iron Spur. Wait. Miss Barkley, we have no idea how long we were in that cave. But we know the Iron Spur scheme. Now, tell me, have the two tracks been joined yet? Why, yes. They must have been joined by now. Already? Yes, Mr. Captain, when will the ceremony take place? Well, around nine o'clock in the morning. Hello. You hear that? Oh, uh, that heap bad. Well, what's wrong, mister? Captain, we've got to get there as fast as we can. The Iron Spur plans to blow up the track at that ceremony. Oh, but the president... The first stroke of the hammer on the golden spike. Captain, Toto and I can get there faster. Silver and Scout can outrun your horses, and speed is important. I understand, mister. If you need a note from me, Colonel I'll... Parkman knows the ca- masked man, Captain. A note isn't necessary. Pettio, Sloan Ranger, and God speed you both. After me, Toto. Get him up, Scout! These horses travel like the wind, Miss Barkley. Yes, Captain, and they'll need all the speed they've got, and our prayers as well. The President's life is at stake. <laughs> Still in mountains, Kimasabi. The moon is bright. The trail is clear ahead of us. After mountains, come plain country. And hills again. A long way to Promontory Point. Faster, Silver. Faster. We are the mountains now. Trail lead across off ground. The moon is setting, Kimasabi. There's a North Star shining ahead of us. Keep following it. Ah. Iron Spur come this way already. Hoof mark showing ground. Get him up, Scout. Master Silver, big fella. Over the ground, Silver. There's the tracks, Hazard. Lucky we got army uniforms on. Still pretty dark. Keep that blasting pot on those shovels out of sight. Prentice, you and I take care of the guards. Keen on. Right up to him. Halt! Who goes there? Right ease, guard. This is a special detail to take your... No, Prentice. No, you... Tie him up, gag him. Quick, get busy and plant that blasting powder. Right under the end of the rail. Hurry up, we got to have it all ready by dawn. Colonel Parkman to Omaha Great Central Dispatch by telegraph. All arrangements are in order. It is now seven in the morning at Promontory Point. The presidential party has already proceeded to the spot where the Great Central track meets the Rocky Mountain track. In another 15 minutes, the silver spike and the gold spike will be hammered home, tying together a continuous stretch of track from east to west. A telegraph line and operator are already at the spot, prepared to describe the actual hammering of the spikes. I shall go there myself and... Few... Colonel Parkman. The masked man. Colonel, there isn't a moment to lose. Todd and I rode all night to get here and warn you. The Iron Spur has planted a charge of blasting powder under the gold spike. What's that? You get your soldiers into action at once, the whole Iron Spur can be wiped out once and for all. 
Man named Hazard is their leader. They're right here at Promontory Point. Davis, get Major Gray. Yes, sir. How far to the place where the ceremony will take place, Colonel? Five minutes. When will the ceremony start? Why, it may have started already. Already? Colonel, the first hammer stroke on that golden spike will set off the blast. Good heavens. The president himself is going to hammer that spike home. The president himself. <laughs> silver spike, which represents the east. Now the golden spike, representing the west. The golden spike is in place. Mr. President, will you hammer the golden spike home and unite this great railroad system? Thank heaven we're in time. There's a charge of blasting powder planted under that golden spike. Is that Colonel? Uh, yes, sir. I was warned by the Lone Ranger. Captain, what's that? Led for the Lone Ranger, the cavalry charged on the outlaws. As the men of the track stared, the soldiers and the Lone Ranger and Tonto forced the outlaws to drop their guns and surrender. That, sir, is the end of the Iron Spur. The soldiers are rounding them up. From now on, our country has nothing to fear from those outlaws. Colonel, who's that man on the white horse? He's just captured their leader. And look, now he's riding off toward the west with that Indian. Who is he, Colonel? That's a man who saved us once again, sir who's helped make this railroad possible. As soon as my engineers remove the powder charge, the president can drive home the golden spike safely. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.